We are going to understand issues and pull requests in this video with which we, you can contribute to any open source project on GitHub. So this is our repository which we have forked from original repository and I have cloned this fork repository in my local, in my local system. I have explained about this setup in detail in previous videos so you can watch that to know more about setup. Now without wasting time, let us understand what are issues. So as the name suggests, issue is some problem or error that you noticed in the open source project and you want to inform the community about that problem so that the work can get started to solve that problem as soon as possible. Now how to raise an issue. So you won't see issues tab in the fork repository but you but if you open original repository, you can see here that there is an issue tab. If you click on this tab, then you can see all the open issues which needs to be addressed. As of now, we don't have any open issue in this repository. So let us create one issue. To create new issue, click on this green button. On clicking it, you will see some form. It will ask for title and description of this issue. The question may come to your mind that for which things can I raise the issues. So you can raise issue for any bug, optimizing code, improving, improving documentation, adding new features to the existing open source project, etc. So basically you can create issue for whatever things that you think that this open source project should have. So for this repository, we will create issue that the readme file should have a copyright text at the end. After writing title and description, click on submit new issue. Now you can see that each issue in the repository can be identified by unique number. So the issue we created has number 4. Now since we created an issue, how to contribute the solution of this issue? So for example, we created this issue to add copyright text at the end of readme file. So I know the solution for that. And the solution is just to add the sentence at the end of readme file that this repository is created and maintained by Ashudosh. How can I contribute to this? So here comes the pull request. As issues are used to address problems with project, pull requests are used to request a solution to a particular issue. So let us solve the issue that we created by creating a pull request. Now it is highly recommended that when you are working on a particular issue, do not work on the main branch. What you can do is you can create a new branch and then you can work on that. So let us create a new branch with the name copyright. In this new branch, let us change the code which is the solution of this fix. And the solution is to add a copyright sentence at the end of readme file. After the changes is done, just push the code to remote repository on GitHub. Now let us go back to the GitHub repository and you can see that it is detecting a new branch that we created to fix the issue. And by clicking this button, we will be able to create a new pull request. So let us click this and create a pull request. You need to write a title and a description for pull request and it will show the default title as the commit message that we gave while pushing the changes. While writing the description, you can link this pull request to a specific issue that we are working that we are solving in this pull request. Here we are solving issue number four. So in this description, you can write fixes hash four. So it is showing us the title of that issue here. After doing this, you can mention the maintainer of the open source project to review this pull request. So you can mention like at and the username of the project maintainer. In this case, it is Ashtosh1919. Please review this PR. Just by scrolling, you can also see the changes that you have made as part of this pull request. Here we have added one extra sentence. Click on create pull request button to create pull request. If you are watching this far, congratulations, you have made your first open source contribution. Now, if you open the issue that we created at the beginning, you can see the PR is linked with this issue and it is visible here. Now let us see how maintainer will review this pull request. So this is the original repository, which is linked to my personal account. You can click on the pull request tab and here, we can see all the pull requests raised for this repository. So me as a maintainer, I will go to this pull request and I will read title as well as description. I will check the changes that what has been changed. I can also request any additional changes if something is still missing. If maintainer think that this pull request doesn't solve the issue and is not valid, then he can comment down and close the pull request. It means that your solution to solve the specific issue is rejected. On the contrary side, if the maintainer likes your solution and want to integrate these changes 
in the open source project then he will just click on this button merge and click confirm to merge this pull request if the pull request is merged then it means that your solution for a particular issue is accepted and the changes you did as part of this pull request are merged into the original original repository also since the pull request is merged the issue which it addressed will be automatically closed which maintainer can reopen if some changes are still needed. So that is it for this video and in next video I am going to tell you the complete strategy which you should focus upon to go from beginner to experienced open source contributor. I am also going to explain how you can enhance your learnings along with contributing to open source.